So basically, I'll start with warm-up. If you do a warm-up, if you're just doing, you can use any machine out in the cardio room, bikes, elliptical, stair masters. Otherwise, if you're in a group fitness setting, steps work great. Basic step, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. As you get warm, if you're coordinated enough, you can add some hamstring curls or knees. Hamstring or knee. Another option is just to stick with the basic and jog, speed it up until you get that heart rate up or turn it to the side or step it over. Tap, step up. Okay, after you do your warm up, you're gonna go into, it really doesn't matter what order you go into, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the power drills, power and agility that will really help you with um, maneuvering on the mountain. So different things that you can do, we do a lot of side squatting, side to side. You can also turn it lateral, make it more of a wide squat, getting low, side to side. Also, pushing up, adding more power. As you progress, add some weight. A ball usually works best, reaching up high or side to side, down low, right here. Another progression would just be adding speed to that. So really, as fast as you can. Another way to progress is time. So your first week, maybe only do each drill for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Otherwise, you can do 45 seconds, 30 second break, 45 seconds, 45 seconds off, whatever you feel you need to begin. And then by your final week, you're up to a minute of each drill with 20 second break. So it's a lot shorter. 